Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. So you can see who is there with me. She is my wife Roshni. She is working as a Java developer and she is having great years of experience is in as in Java development platform. She has already worked with the multinational company and that two three companies over here. So she is going to help you out how you can start your career as a Java developer and how you can start your career as in IT industry also. So definitely this is going to be a really really great interview and if you want to start the career as a Java engineer or is in IT industry definitely this is going to be a really really good video. So let's get started. Before I start with my rapid fire question I would request you to please do like subscribe and share this channel. This channel will help you to grow your career and definitely you can earn a lot of money. So let's get started. We both know to each other from so many years so don't think that I don't know about her because we are lovely couple married. So the first question will be can you please tell me about yourself and how you started your career as in IT industry as a Java developer basically. Hello guys, uh, Ankush has given me opportunity to come on his ch channel and to give an interview. So thank you Ankush. Uh, I will tell you how I started my career as a Java developer. So I have completed my uh, engineering B.Tech from Government College of Engineering Amravati and there were a lot of campus uh, recruitment in the final year of the engineering. I have given lots of interview, lot of uh, MNC companies were coming there to take the interview. There were a lot of huge recruitment, bulk recruitment was there. But uh, I was not, I was not got selected in the many companies, so I got a little depressed. But I didn't lose the hope. Then I got selected in the one of the MNC company. Uh, then I joined that company. Okay, so here the thing that we need to note over here that even though the people like me uh, or the people who are already experienced with the technology don't think that you'll get the chance to uh, or when we are trying to switch the company. Uh, Definitely we will not get the, you know, we will not be selected in the first attempt team itself. There are many, you know, challenges will be there. Once you start giving the interview, you will come to know like, okay, what kind of questions are coming and how to give the response, how to give the answers to that question. So try giving more and more interview. That is a key point where you can, you know, select into the next company. So most of the time what we have observed that even though you know, like what is the answer, but you don't know like how to express that answer. That is the main problem. So once you start, you know, looking after to the new opportunity, new, giving more and more interview, definitely you'll understand like, okay, this is what they are expecting from you. And this is how you need to explain yourself while giving the response to their questions. Uh, I got the joining of the, my f from my first company that was in the Mumbai, like uh, we say Mumbai as a Maya Nagri. So it was very exciting for me to join in that location. Then I went to the company uh, for the first day. I seen there are a lot of people were there who were in the joining. Almost 300 people were there to join the company on a very first day. That environment was like a college only. So we did a joining formalities uh, and HR was very helpful. So they help us to do the all the formalities. Then after that, we have started the training uh, in the company. They have divided our, uh, our uh, 300 students batch into the different, different batches. And they, they have given the different, different uh, technologies to the, to the students. Like some people got the testing, some got the Java, .NET, Big Data, Hadoop, different, different technologies we have got. And uh, luckily I got the Java technology and in which I was very interested. Uh, uh, then uh, after completing the training, we got the, we have given the client interview. Then we got, I got selected into the client interview. Then I started my first project into that MNC company. Okay, so you were knowing about the Java technology at the starting level or when you directly moved to the project then only you come to know about the Java? Uh, as I, I earlier told you that I have completed my engineering before that I have completed my diploma also. So I had uh, pretty much knowledge about the programming language like Java, .NET, C Sharp. So I had some knowledge about that and after the training of from that MNC company, I got uh, much knowledge that I can continue working on the project. 
Okay. So how was your experience as a Java developer in the first project? So for first as a fresher it's very sometimes it becomes very difficult to find the issue there are seniors in the team project manager all the team get supportive for the freshers it's not like that you have to go in on the very first day and you have to create one big project it's not something like that team will be there they will guide you how to Uh, how to do your daily work they will support you and slowly you will progress on that and you will you will be master in that so it's not uh, like that uh, ki you have to go and on the very first day start the complete project so are you guys using this google or uh, stack workflow obviously <laughs> every developer is using the google i don't know what will happen if there will not be a google or the stack overflow everyone is using the google or internet there are lots of issues already solved we are facing right now every issue has a solution on the internet so no need to worry everything is there yeah so basically the funda is i was working as a oracle db on that time and she was working as a java developer so i used to travel from pune to mumbai on every weekend but the thing was uh, since uh, you know we are a dba the, the dba people will be always working in 24 hours 7 so sometime i need to <laughs> discuss with my manager to get me a free time so that i can travel there and meet her but you know we are we are taking some time for our personal life also as well as for professional life so the next question will be uh, how the student can start their career as a java developer and what is the prerequisite you can you know tell to them for students to start like uh, in engineering or any education you are t- uh, taking there must be a subject of the languages in the very first semester we have the c language if we have the understanding of the one of the object oriented programming language then we can learn or we can work on any other language so you just need to learn the basic things of any language and then uh, start practicing there are lots of websites lots of tutorials available on the internet like first uh, for the very first uh, starting you can use the tutorials for in w3 schools like this website then on youtube there are lots of youtubers providing you full content with the full uh, practical knowledge you can look that videos and practice more and more and like there are w- uh, various websites w- on which you can practice like hacker rank hacker earth by practicing this you will get the more confidence on your knowledge and then you will be able to give the interviews and got selected into the mnc so i saw many people you know they are using that hacker rank hacker earth and the youtube channel like uh, daily square is their java brain right Yeah. so all those uh, channels are really good and they are good for especially for the java development and if you are looking for oracle definitely my channel is one of the best one so when you are working as a java developer are you just working on java platform only or other technologies also you are handling nowadays so now in industry there are lot of frameworks are used on only java you cannot complete on the only java you cannot complete the project so you need to use the framework to manage a workflow of the complete project so like there are lots of spring modules are available in the market like spring uh, mvc spring uh, boot spring aop different different uh, modules are available for database connectivity ha- different orm tools are available to manage the version control system there are uh, different different version control tools are like git svn nowadays git is git is mostly used in the market because that is the distributed system to manage the complete pipeline of the project you need to use the maven jenkins so you must have a knowledge of the different different tools which are used in the complete project workflow so uh, y- it is not like uh, you have a knowledge of java on fresher side it is okay but if you are getting experienced so you must have a knowledge of the other technologies which are used for the managing project as well yeah so those kind of the stuff we have already seen with oracle db also right the same thing is happening with java so if you want to be a expert in the java technology definitely you need to deal with different technology which are the supporting technology for the java development so uh, my the next question will be because we have a lot of question but i know we have a time constraint as well so the last question will be she was very expert she was very you know talented because of that only uh, roshni got the opportunity 
to study her engineering from the government college and you know, the people like me we are not getting the opportunity to you know uh, deal with the government colleges so we i completed personally i'm telling i completed my personal um, i completed my engineering from the private <laughs> because i am not talented guy when you are doing your engineering from the government college definitely you will have a lot of campuses in your colleges there is no problem but what about the people like us how they can start their career as a java developer and how they can you know search for the company Uh, so we cannot say people like ankush he has already much knowledge so if you want to start career if you are not getting selected in the campus uh, recruitment of the college then you can go on the naukri portal and you can update your profile just make sure the profile should be 100% completed and try to update it on the daily basis and add as much as uh, skills on your profile so that it will get selected in the job opportunities uh, so recruiter can reach to you and uh, they can contact you and you will get the opportunity and uh, each time whenever you get the um, call or interview letter from the uh, recruitment so try to give every interview do not skip any interview uh, if even even though you are not uh, ready for that interview that will increase your knowledge even though you are not getting selected it is fine but it will increase your experience of the interview so daily update your profile and increase your knowledge daily basis yeah guys you know when you are going to the city like pune bangalore hyderabad uh, chennai is there uh, there are these are the it hub you know there you will see the lot of update re- uh, related to the openings from the mnc's company or the cmi level 3 companies as well okay so whenever you are getting the mails especially this kind of mails are coming from the platform like no nokri.com a job portal monster is there there are many portals are there so try to keep updated your profile you know that is really really important the people like senior the people like us we are also doing the same thing there are a lot of opportunities are there in the market and so don't think that there will not uh, be uh, opportunities are not there or something like that opportunities are there they are also looking for the right candidate and you can be a right candidate by reading doing the practice you know all those things are uh, easily for the best part about the it industry that you should have one laptop just install the software and do the practice at your home only and you need one more thing that is internet that's it everything is available on the internet only you should know the technique how you can search all those things so this is all about the java uh, like how you can start your career as a java developer my wife and myself will be definitely help you with uh, more and more things if you have any questions please put it into the description not in description description i'll put it just put it into the comment section okay definitely we will respond to you if you like the video please do like subscribe and share this channel can you please repeat this please like subscribe and share this channel and please support ankush so that he can make more and more videos and share the knowledge with you guys thank you very much thank you guys bye bye see bye. you again with the next video